Hi guys, really nice to have you here again. In this video, I'll give you some very good reasons to trade USL CFDs and a powerful momentum entry strategy for catching big uptrends in the oil market. And you can also use the same entry strategy to find nice long swing trades in the US oil and also intraday longs. So let's go and see how this works. First of all, please do remember that we don't provide any investment advice and all the material is made available for educational and marketing purposes only. And please remember to subscribe to the channel. That would be a great help. Thank you. So why should you trade the oil market with CFDs and not with futures? I'm going to give you four very good reasons for this. And the first one is that there is no data fees for you to pay. If you trade the futures, you pay for trading in terms of the trading fees, but you also have to pay the data fees. Otherwise, you don't see where the futures are trading. If you trade with TO markets, we will give you CFD data that very closely tracks the futures market so that it's almost equivalent. It's, I'd say 99 point something percent equivalent to the futures data, but you don't have to pay for it. So that's a big benefit for you. It will save you lots of money over the trading year. The second reason is that you don't pay the exchange fees. If you were trading the oil futures, you would pay NYMEX the exchange fees. So you would pay the broker the, for the execution of the trades. But on top of that, there would be other costs known as the exchange fee. So you don't have to worry about this if you trade CFDs with TO markets. So another very good reason for trading oil with CFDs and not with futures is that your minimum risk is only $10 per $1 movement in the underlying, i.e. the oil price. So for instance, you buy at, let's say oil is trading at $77. You buy at this level. You, you think that market might go against you a little bit initially, but then it should go higher. So if you allocate, say, $50 for this trade, the market can move against you by $5. And that's a big movement in oil. So it, it, then it's highly unlikely that oil is actually going to, to, if you know anything about good trade entries, then it's actually quite unlikely, I'm sorry, quite unlikely that oil market would take your stop before it moves in the anticipated direction. So the risks are small. This means that you can scale into your positions, you can scale out of your positions without taking a lot of risk. And for your trading psychology, this is so important because you don't have to think in terms, okay, I'm going to risk $100 now and then I have to risk $200 the next time. Nothing like this. You can scale into the position by increasing your risk with tiny amounts, like $10 at a time. So if you buy at the first clip, your risk is $10. Then you add to your position, your risk is then $20. Then you add to your position the third clip and your risk is $30. So that's so much easier for you to trade and therefore you are more likely to actually be a profitable trader. And the fourth reason why you should trade oil is that you have a high volatility market with long trends and big swings. And so it's a wonderful market to trade if you are a, a position trader, trend follower or swing trader. So let me show you with some chart examples how much vo more volatile oil is compared to gold, for instance. So here we have gold market range since January 2022. The range was 26.71%. And already now we can see that oil was trending much more higher and then it came down and it had a long down move that was quite, quite sizable. 
actually a lot more sizable than anything that the gold did. So remember that number, 26.71% was the range in, in gold since January 2022. Here we have the same, for the same period, the oil market range. It was 75.15%. So almost three times the volatility of gold. Oil is so much more volatile market and it means that you have more trading opportunities. What about oil versus currencies? Here we have oil compared to USD yen, Euro USD and pound USD. And you can quickly see without even calculating any ranges here that the oil market is the market with the best swings. This is why you should trade oil. The next question is what strategies we should use? Because this is a big market with big swings and long trends, so the, the strategies that make the most sense are swing trading and trend following. But at the same time, it's also true that intraday movements are sometimes sizable, they're quite big. So it makes sense to have the trade oil market in intraday mode also. But let me give you, I'm going to share with you a strategy here. Not, I'm not going to go through all the possible strategies. I'm giving you one swing trading entry strategy and then you can, if you like it, you can start creating your own strategy around it. But I'm going to give you some robust principles on how to get trade into trades in a market that has momentum. So this is a momentum strategy. Let me show you. All right. The first thing I'm looking at in any market I'm considering for or for trading purposes is what's happening with momentum. And clearly you can see that the market has been moving higher, it's been trending higher, and then comes the time when Russia has the all out attack on Ukraine and the oil price just surges really high, really fast. Then there was a quick retracement and another move higher. Here it seemed like the market might be creating a top because we have a lower high. But this is not quite what happened. It's so this kind of uh, is a really good case to show you why you never should anticipate too much. You have to follow the market day in, day out and see what it does. But basically the market moved a little lower and then it seems like it finds support at this low. So that's interesting. The market really struggles to go any lower and then starts to move higher. So we have what we could call a double bottom here. Then the market retraces again and creates a higher low. So that's when you should be interested on the long side, mainly because the bears were not able to push the market below this low. So this low here is a key low and now we have a higher low in place. So we should focus on the long side. Let me show you an entry strategy in the intraday charts. Okay, here I have US oil, the WTI oil on the left hand side in daily time frame and on the right hand side in, in hourly time frame. The vertical dotted line here is where the new day starts after this up day. Because before this update, we didn't know if this was a higher low, but now the probabilities are pretty good that we have a higher low in place. So it makes sense to look for buying signals here in the one hour chart. And the idea is to look for opportunities to buy the dips. And what I'm looking for is two or more red candles followed by a green candle. 
and the market drops down and then creates a green candle. So this is the spot where we have an entry on the close of the candle. And as you can see, we have some volatility in this market. So you have to make sure your stops aren't too close. And what I would suggest is that you have a systematic way of defining where you keep the stops and you rather have smaller position sizes and wider stops. Then you improve your probabilities to execute successfully and catch the trends. Let me show you an idea for setting the stops. See the recent volatility here in this range was about $1.7. So the minimum risk here is $17 with the smallest contract size. So you can easily see that we don't need big money here to trade. But if we have, if we use the just, if we use this range with the multiple of one, then there's a risk of market coming down and stopping us out. But if we double this, if we go to $3.4, there, roughly there, then the risk of market stopping us out is quite small. But still our risk, the minimum risk here is only $34. And let's see how this plays out. Obviously, if you have a bigger account, you might want to trade mini lots. And then with one mini lot, this would be $340 of risk. But if you rather trade with micro lots, then that's fine. And the market moves higher. Retraces again a little bit. There we have more than two red candles and then a green candle. So that's the next buy signal. I can't remember whether this is profitable or not. It doesn't really matter because we we never know if the signals are going to be profitable. Now straight away this market moved lower. But if you use the same stop size here, the risk of you getting stopped out is tiny. And here we have one more signal. The market comes down one, two, three red candles, and then there is a green candle. So that's a buy signal. And for this trade, your stop would be again pretty far from the current levels. Market fluctuates a little bit and then starts to move higher. Now there could be another signal setting up because we have three red candles and here's a green candle. When you decide your strategy, your approach to trading oil, you have to decide whether you are going to take just one long signal and see how it plays out or whether you can scale into the market and add when you see new trades, new trade signals. This is a way to get into these price swings where the market might move or higher for several days or sometimes several weeks. So let's see what happened with this daily trend, because obviously we want to find these price swings or or trend entries in oil. So I'm going to move the market forward. And we have yet another high low in the market and and a higher high then a steep push to the downside but the market recovers pushes higher and it takes a little time but with the daily trends you have to be patient the good thing is 
that each time the market pushes down a bit and then starts to recover, you have a new opportunity to get in or several new opportunities to get into this market at higher prices. And that's good actually, because when you have started down here, then you have buffer for, you have some profits that create a buffer for your strategy, for your entries at higher levels. Okay, thank you for watching. Now you know how to get started trading oil on the long side. And to make sure you can trust this strategy or any other strategy you're planning to use, go through some historical price data and see how well the strategy performs on average. Every strategy has its weaknesses and strengths and you know, have to know how the market behaves and how the strategy performs in different market phases. By studying the price action, you learn uh, to trust your strategy really. That's so important because there'll be that inevitable period of drawdowns. So you have to trust the strategy even during the drawdowns. So do this, do the studies, do the homework, and I'm sure you'll learn so much beneficial stuff, which makes you so much better trader. In the meanwhile, I will prepare some new stuff for you. So see you on the next video and trade safe.